Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are doing a what I eat in a week. So I'm going to, the spatula is out, you know what time it is. I'm gonna give you guys a quick disclaimer before we get into this. I give the same disclaimer during my what I eat in a day, and I think it's worth mentioning. It's very important. Please don't compare the way you eat to the way I or anyone else you see on the internet eats. We all have different bodies, resources, preferences, needs, wants, whatever it might be. We're all different and that's something we should celebrate. The sole purpose of this video is to share with you guys some quick and easy meal ideas foods that I love because I genuinely love watching these videos to inspire me to try something different. So let's get into it with Monday. I started Monday off with one of my favorite toast variations. I either go the sweet route or the savory route, but today was a sweet toast kind of day. So I did peanut butter, bananas, cinnamon, and I also like adding hemp hearts on top of this. And with my breakfast, I usually need them to be big. So of course I had a side of two eggs with this, lots of hot sauce, and I also poured myself a glass of green juice. And that was my breakfast. A couple hours later, I made myself a hot matcha, and this is not my favorite way to make it but I do show you my favorite matcha recipe on the next day. I also didn't film every single beverage I had during the week, but I do drink either matcha or coffee during the day. Since I worked out on my lunch break, I needed a little pre-workout snack, so I had a chocolate rice cake, put my shoes on, headed to the gym. Here's a couple seconds of my workout. Every time I film a workout, it's very, very short clips because I don't like getting distracted with the camera. But here it is. I came back, had a lunch of leftovers. This is just rice with ground turkey cooked with taco seasoning. So simple, takes only a couple minutes. I made this the day before and like I said, had leftovers. And then for a sauce, I mixed Greek yogurt with chipotle bitchin sauce. This stuff is so good. I've talked about bitchin sauce before, but I mixed that together with some lime juice and it was just a good high protein sauce. I put that in my bowl with some arugula and that ended up being a really nice filling and very quick lunch. I ate on my desk, which I don't love doing, but when I work out during my lunch break, I kind of have to. So I answered some emails while eating, and then we've moved on to dinner. I had a lot of vegetable chopping to do for this dinner, but it ended up being so worth it. Making a sheet pan meal like this makes the cleanup process after cooking so much easier, which is great, especially after a work day when you really don't feel like doing a whole lot of dishes. This was just so easy to prep, throw into the oven, let it do its thing, and then it was done. While it was in the oven though, I made some couscous. I toasted it in some olive oil before pouring vegetable broth in it and just letting it cook. Halfway through cooking my salmon, I realized I forgot to put lemon slices on top of it, which I intended to do. So I just threw those on there, put it back in the oven, added some Parmesan to my couscous, and once everything was done cooking, I threw it into a bowl, the couscous, carrots, and salmon, with some thyme, and of course, who's surprised, I put sauce on it. I love adding sauces to food, and that was my dinner. I ate it while watching some Netflix. On Tuesday, I woke up craving a smoothie, so I made one really quickly, and there are some weeks where I'm in the mood to have the same breakfast over and over, and I go through phases with my breakfast, and there are other weeks, this has been happening more recently, where I just make different breakfasts because breakfast foods are my absolute favorite. I can't get enough of them. This smoothie was so good, I put some toasted coconut granola on top of it. This is probably my favorite granola. It's not too sweet and it just balances smoothies out really well. And then of course, two eggs again. This was supposed to be an omelet, but uh, 
didn't really work out as an omelet. So I tried covering it up, covering my tracks, didn't do a great job. And now we're getting into it with my favorite kind of matcha. It's an iced blended matcha. I throw my matcha in there, some cinnamon, water, almond milk, collagen peptides, which is not necessary, and also some maple syrup for sweetness. I blend that up really well with some ice, pour it in a cup, and just look how foamy and frothy it is. She is beautiful. She is the moment. I topped it with cinnamon and just enjoyed it. My pre-workout snack on Tuesday were these dark chocolate heart-shaped cookies. To say I'm addicted is an understatement. The week is over, and yes, the box is also almost over. <laughs> per usual, for lunch, I had leftovers, and usually the night before, I will consciously make enough dinner to have leftovers for lunch for the next couple days because this saves me so much time during my workday on my lunch break. Tuesday evening was date night, so after work, Dan came over and we went on a walk because the temperature went up to 40 degrees, so we took advantage of it not being freezing, got some fresh air, stepped outside, and I'm so glad we did. We definitely worked up an appetite, so I made us a quick meal once we got back to my apartment. It was yet another sheet pan dinner night. These have just been a go-to because it's so easy to cook. Less cleanup, like I said before, so I threw some cut up potatoes, zucchini, and yellow squash onto my pan, and I also did some sweet Italian chicken sausage on another pan. For the veggies, I just seasoned it with olive oil, garlic salt, some Italian seasoning, paprika, and then for the chicken, all I did was put olive oil on it because the sausage was pretty well seasoned already. While that was cooking, I put the extra zucchini and yellow squash in the fridge to cook another day. And because I was already so hungry, I ate some popcorners, Dan made us a mojito, and we just listened to music and hung out while we were waiting for dinner. This was our finished dinner. Dan ate his with ketchup. I put some garlic everything sauce on mine. And once Dan left, I had a cup of peppermint tea. I had peppermint tea every night this week, but I just didn't film it. On Wednesday, I started my day with some green juice and a ginger shot. I don't have these too often, but when I do, I like to think it helps my digestive system. And because I was craving pancakes, I did take a few extra minutes on this morning to make Kodiak cakes. These have been my favorite pancakes to make since high school. I always, always, always have Kodiak cakes in my pantry for days like this when I am craving pancakes. And it's kind of strange and it doesn't happen often where I wake up craving pancakes. I usually like having them as a snack later on in the day, but it ended up making complete sense because I did in fact start my period on this day and that might be TMI to some, but all of us ladies go through it and I do eat more on my period, which is why I'm mentioning it. I took a 20 minute lunch break on Wednesday, so I made a very quick salad with arugula and Caesar salad mix, and I threw the leftover chicken sausage on top of it, some zucchini, chickpeas that I had in the fridge as well, and then I put my favorite dressing of all time on top of it, the vegan creamy dill dressing from Trader Joe's, and this just tasted so good. Sometimes I just want a lighter lunch, and when I do, I make salads like this that are filling, but also doesn't make me sleepy like rice does from time to time. I got started with dinner as soon as I was done with work on Wednesday because my friends Annie and Liz were coming over. They both predominantly only eat vegetarian food, so I cooked an entire box of pasta and cut up some veggies. When people come over, I rather make a lot of food and have extra than not make enough, so I did have quite a bit of leftovers after this meal. Here is my onion chopper. It's just a veggie chopper, but I can't live without it. 
It saves me from a lot of tears and mascara running down my face from when I cut onions and shallots. As much as I love onions, they just do not love me back. And after the pasta was done, I just cut up some mozzarella to throw into the salad really quickly. Seasoned it with Italian dressing and this Italian Romano vinaigrette, which is so good. And we ended up having just a great girls night. We ate our dinner, pasta with Parmesan, the little side salad, had some wine, and called it a night. I didn't film my breakfast on Thursday because I was in a bit of a rush, but what you're seeing right here is a clip of the exact same smoothie I made. This is from an older vlog, but I basically made this smoothie, had it with two eggs, and called it a day with Thursday's breakfast. I made it very quickly and got the workday started. For lunch, I had some of the leftover pasta from the night before, and I put a laughing cow cheese in it instead of sauce because this makes pasta really creamy and it's light. I added some Parmesan, microwaved that together, and mixed it up. I also had what was left of the side salad, and for some protein, I drained and rinsed a can of chickpeas and put some of it on top with garlic salt and paprika. After lunch, I had a blended matcha with some of those dark chocolate cookie hearts, and I also had spirulina water by me. I started dinner off by boiling some water and eating popcorners while I waited for the water to boil, because apparently this is my snack for while I'm waiting for food to cook now. And then I made this migoreng by Indomie noodles, and migoreng noodles are originally Indonesian, but I grew up eating these in Malaysia, so the taste of this is very nostalgic to me, and ramen is my ultimate comfort food. I love adding an egg to it because it makes it nice and creamy, and I do this right at the end, and it cooks in with the hot water, and that is the ramen. It tasted amazing, and I love adding scallions on top of ramen as well. Sometimes I'll add frozen veggies, but today I wanted something very quick and simple, so I left it at this and ate it with some kimchi. On Friday, I made my go-to absolute favorite breakfast. You guys already know what it is. I feel like I don't even have to say it. Made some toast, got some fruit, washed the fruit. Don't forget to wash your fruit. Two eggs, who's surprised? Here we go again. And avocado toast. This avocado was not exceptionally beautiful and I knew that was gonna be the case because this has been sitting in my fridge for a while. I put truff sauce on top of my avocado toast, squeezed lemon on it as well. Don't know where that footage went but I just mushed this all together. And I know this isn't the prettiest, of course, everything but the bagel seasoning, but it tasted 10 out of 10. I had the same exact lunch again because I hate wasting food. And if I have leftovers, I eat it until they're gone. I had to add more chickpeas, tomatoes, and cucumbers to this today to make an entire meal, but it was great. And then I had a banana and peanut butter as a snack. It is so easy to go overboard with peanut butter, but sometimes it just it just has to happen. I also had a poppy prebiotic soda later on in the evening. And before I started cooking dinner, I had some grain-free tortilla chips by Siete with this Ithaca lemon garlic hummus. It's my favorite hummus. And then I got started on dinner, which was pretty experimental. Obviously, went ahead and started off by cutting some tofu into cubes. I cut half a red onion, didn't use my onion chopper, definitely shed some tears, but it was a quick process. I also cut a few cloves of garlic, threw all of that into a bowl, added some garlic olive oil, sesame oil, soy sauce, and nutritional yeast, which I've never had on tofu, but I decided to just throw it all together and hope for the best. And this ended up being another sheet pan meal. Usually I'll either put tofu on a pan to cook it or the air fryer, 
and I also wanted to use up my leftover zucchini and I love cooking zucchini in the oven in particular I just sprayed some olive oil added garlic salt to it and mixed it up before putting it in the oven I will say this took significantly longer in the oven than it would have if I cooked the tofu on a pan. I don't even know how long this took because I just had to keep leaving the tofu in longer, but it still ended up tasting very good. I put it over rice and had it with kimchi and put some garlic sauce on top of the zucchini and that was dinner. For dessert, aka the most important meal of the day, I had these Hold the Cone mini ice cream cones from Trader Joe's. I love these. I love anything chocolate. And that is everything I ate from Monday to Friday this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!